Today I'm making some homemade gumbo for the first time ever. This gumbo is gonna be finger licking good when I get through with it. Usually when I start cooking for the first time, I cut up my bell peppers. You have the green, you have the yellow, you have the celery cut up, the green onions and the white onion. I use a whole cube of the onions, a whole bell pepper, whole bell pepper, four strings of green onions, four things of celery. And I'm gonna have my chopped up garlic right here, which my wife chopping up right now and chopping it up. Also over here, I have my water boiling before I put my crabs in and my chicken. I'm gonna cook them together today so everything can be nice and tender to I make my root for it. Right now in the pot, right now I'm boiling with the water. I like my water very hot. I'm using some seasoning, some garlic powder, some seasoned salt, some onion salt, regular salt, black pepper, and I'm having some garlic salt. And the main thing is the gumbo filet. I'm also over here, I'm having some parsley flakes and some tender leaves and some basil leaves. And I'm gonna use a little of, of the cayenne pepper. I'm gonna put just a little bit in it so it'll get that nice tender taste to it. Also, I'm using a little of the chicken broth in it to give it that good seasoning too. Like I say, today's my first time, so I'm gonna enjoy cooking, and I'll get back to you in a minute. Coming back to you after the commercial. I have me three breasts that I'm fixing to cut and put in the water that I season up boiling on the stove Usually I use the party rings when I'm cooking, that's my favorite, but this time I'm going to use the breast and I'm just going to slice it up like this so it can cook right with it. So it's no bones free. It's bone free. So, and I'm going to slice it up like this in strips. And I'm going to have this chicken just boiling right with the crabs. As you see my crab holes, they look nice and Nice and pretty big, the paws of it and everything, eatable for the kids. Kids love crabs, so each one of them gonna have a crab. And I also have some hot sausage and some regular sausage I'm gonna add to it, but this is I'm gonna saute first the sausage before I put it in. And I also have my shrimp, which is that gonna be the last, I have more shrimp to put in here. That's gonna be the last of the shrimp. So I'm cutting up the chicken, nice and nice pieces of chicken, so it'll be nice and tender. Just cut it up like strips, Strip, nice healthy strips. As you can see, they're pretty healthy. First, I'm gonna put the crabs into the water. I have it nice and hot. I have it hot. It's boiling so it can get nice and seasoning in there. So when it's boiling, the chicken and the crab be cooked pretty good at the same time. I'm going to lay that in there. So as you go. I'm going to put my chicken in right in there with it. Let it just boil. Everything can be nice and tender. Yes, yes, that's gonna be good. So be smelling up this whole house. Yeah. And I'm gonna use some butter. Don't forget the butter. Put in there with it. I'm just using regular butter. Like I say, this is my first time, so I'm doing it in the 
everything the way that I think it'll come out good. I'm just going to get a nice big chunk of that butter and put it in there like that. The water is hot. See how it just comes right off the spoon because the water is nice and hot. Now I'm fitting to make the root for the gumbo, which is going to be homemade. Most people buy it already. Some people make their own root, but I'm from the old days, so I like making my own root for everything. I'm going to take some of this good washing oil, just pour it in this, get it, and let it get nice and good and hot. And pour it in like that and let it get hot. Let it get nice and hot. And I'm gonna take some of this. You know, I like using all purpose flour. I'm gonna take this top off because I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna put it in here. And put it in. Put about three or four spoons in. Make that root. I'm just gonna take it and stir it to get nice, good, and brown. I'm gonna get nice, good, and brown. You know, it's gonna be all right. Don't worry about the chunks and everything, because it's soon to get brown. I'm gonna just keep stirring it, mixing it all around there. Get it get brown. Vegetables in here. Break them in there with it. I'm just going to mix them up. them up in here real good. I'm trying to get the flavor in it. It turned brown. Like I say, this is my first time. I'm going to put it in there. Let it get brown a little. We'll turn that up just a little. All right, I'm going to saute my sausage now. I'm going to pull just a little bit of oil in there because it already has grease in it. And I'm going to saute them real good. And uh, wipe that spoon off real good. Let this grease get hot all over the skillet. Let that sit in there, turn that up just a little. I'm gonna sit these sausages in. Saute them. These right here are regular sausages and some hot mix. These good Louisiana sausages. Okay. I'm gonna stir them up till they saute brown. This is where most of all the seasoning is at in these sausages. As you can see, 
when you open it, you see the little red pepper and the different seasonings inside the sausage. So I'm gonna just stir it up so all that come out. Wait for a few minutes and then saute it, saute it again. When it starts getting brown, we're gonna put the leftover vegetables in there and just give it a little more flavor. Cause you want most of the good flavor, it's inside the gumbo, you want that taste. For the time being, I'm gonna get me three of these bay leaves and put in there, and I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna get me about three of them. Yeah, three bay leaves. Let them sit in there for a while and kind of hold, like. I got my three bay leaves. I'm gonna put them in there for a little while. Just sit them in there. cooking in the kitchen now too so she's staring at the sausage she loved to cook too she's just turned 14 but she's been cooking ever since she was 11 in the kitchen cooking different dishes and making different pies so she allowed to be in the kitchen when i'm cooking yeah get them nice and brown right. 
They nice and brown, and I'm gonna get all this seasoning out the bottom. And put it in there, and make sure that's in there. Yeah. Get them bay leaves in there so it can season it up a little. I'm gonna take all this other stuff and put it in here too, the leftovers. And just put it in there. Mix it up. With, it's gonna be a nice smell. It's already smelling good, but when you got something frying in the season, you got the right season, it smells extra good. Like I say, this is the first time. And um, hopefully it come out good. It come out good. We'll be doing this again. On my next video, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make some homemade potato salad. The old school we call it the old school potato salad. Finger licking good. I have also a lot of other recipes I want to show. As you can see, these are some nice sized shrimp right here. Like I like to use when I'm cooking. I can't eat the other kind of shrimp. I like the big shrimp because it has that good taste to it. And so um, I'm finna put these shrimp in. It don't take long for it to cook. So I'm gonna put them in there. When they turn pink, stop turning pink to shrimp is done. I'm gonna drop these in there and like just put them in there and that gumbo is almost ready to eat. The kids, they can't wait to eat and everything like i say this is my first time making this gumbo and if you like it let me know if you don't still leave me a comment and let me know what you think about it like i say i'll be coming up with some more of my recipes putting them on there and i'm going to put them in there i'm just going to put them down in there so they can get a nice little cook it only take about five to six minutes for these shrimp to get ready. Mm-hmm. The crabs is in there, the sausages, the chicken that I cut up, and um, this gumbo gonna be awesome. This is my first time. It's gonna be finger licking good. As with my other dishes, everything I cook is finger licking good. Sometimes it's so good I have to tell the people don't eat their fingers. Watch how they're gonna hurt them. Main thing about cooking, you do not want to leave your mess up, mess the whole kitchen up for somebody else to clean it. Main thing you do, you wash dishes as you go, as you can see all my dishes is washed, so everybody be happy. It starts a bit confusing if you don't have your dishes clean. That's the end of the gumbo. I'm taking it out, ready to put it on the table. The shrimp is in there. Yeah chicken, the sh more, more shrimp, the crab is in there, and we just did it. I just, I, I, we just cooked this, and we're gonna taste it for the first time. It, it smells good, I taste the juice, it's awesome. I'm just gonna get a little more pour on that, cause when you sit down, people gonna be crying for it. And like I say, it's a just quick, dinner if you want to feel like you want to eat seafood or stuff like that now it's time for us to sit down and just dig into this gumbo now and it's time for me to take my hat off because i didn't did my job for the day and everything i'm going to leave the dessert for the wife and the kids to cook and that's the end of that And that's cooking with the bells. You know, bells did it again.